What's up guys, Spot here, and I uh, wanted to discuss some information that came out a few days ago via Game Informer for Call of Duty World War II. Now these guys have gotten their hands on a bunch of exclusive World War II content for both multiplayer and zombies. I'm so, I'm, I'm so jealous, I'm so jealous, what the hell. And I've been slowly disseminating it, it's like spoon feeding us here. But uh, before I get into that, before I get into the specifics, I just want to let you know I posted sort of an important video over on our Next Gen Tactics YouTube channel regarding the current status and future of NGT, which obviously, you know, includes NGT Zombies, right? Link is in the description, um, but basically I'm going to be returning to a focus of producing multiplayer content over on that channel and recommitting to my focus over here for Call of Duty Zombies. I know I've been away for a bit, uh, I was on vac vacation for like 10 days. And, uh, yeah, I've been kind of messed up since I got back and just trying to sort through some things. But in any case, please check out the video via the link in the description and give me your feedback. I would really appreciate it if you can go over there and check it out. Anyways, back to the topic on hand. So based on Game Informer's description, World War II Zombies is going to be class-based and looks to be incorporating RPG elements into the mode. And that's what I want to talk to you about. But I can't say, I can't you know, proclaim to you how ecstatic I am to hear this. This has been something I've been hoping for for years in COD Zombies. So there were two guys from Game Informer and they got to play the first map, World War II Zombies, up until round 13 with a couple of Sledgehammer guys who kind of knew what they were doing, uh, rounding out the squad. And they posted a discussion between themselves. Their names are Jeff and Dan and link to this full article is also in the description. Okay, so here's Jeff. First things first, who'd you play as? I picked Ving Rhames' character, a guy named Jefferson Potts. Then I chose a support role, which gave me the ability to briefly cloak myself and avoid detection. It definitely came in handy when I needed to revive other teammates. Did you go for a more offense-oriented approach? Dan replies, I opted for an offensive role as Marie Catherine Winnick's character. Interestingly enough, I believe players could pick any of the characters so you could have more than one of the same character on a team. And that was a question. I had an ability that really let me light up a room, unlimited ammunition for a limited amount of time. As we got deeper into the mission, this was an absolute lifesaver when the hordes would be on us. It lasted a pretty significant time too. Being able to hold down the trigger and just mow down zombies was nice. According to segment next, another link in the description, there are actually four classes you can choose from. The two that we just described, support and defense, and control and medic. Also, from Dan's description, it seems you might be able to pick multiples of the same character amongst your co-op party, but I highly doubt it. I don't know how they would do player interaction if you had like four, four Ving Rhames characters running around talking to each other, so I, I would suspect that you can't. What would be nice, though, is if you could pick the character you want to play as. I mean, especially solo. I want to I want to play Ving Rhames character. Why can't I, why can't I play him, right? So hopefully we have that option. That would be, uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, regardless, you're, be able, you're able to pick whatever class you choose for your character and it seems like you'll be able to upgrade your character's abilities through each class, which is absolutely phenomenal. My only hope is that there's deep character progression in addition to weapons and equipment. That really is one of my dreams for COD Zombies other than the Return of the Thompson. I had to throw that in there. Sorry. The Return of the Thompson. Come on. There are also special abilities that we can probably call Super straight out of Destiny which then pass into COD via Black Ops 3. Looks like the support super was invisibility and for offense it was for uh, infinite ammo. My hope here though is that each class contains more than one special that, be, that can be unlocked and or even upgraded, though only one should be able to be equipped at any time. That's basically similar to, to what we got on Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Now, interestingly enough, the class and progression characteristics, along with a bunch of other stuff in World War II Zombies, have all been taken from our amazing custom modding community out there for both World at War and Black Ops 3. I've got some footage here of the latest Zombies Realism 3.0 mod for World at War. Link to the mod is in the video description. And this thing is fantastic. I haven't even, I haven't yet played it. I just installed it because I wanted to show you guys in this video and do sort of a comparison as to what uh, our expectations might be for World War II Zombies. So we can select our class for these characters. I mean, there are loadouts, there are challenges, there's progression tracking, there's level tracking. We've got a skill tree over here in the top right. I mean, there are actually five classes that we can choose from. And for each class, there are varying starting weapons that you can 
Uh, select, obviously you have to rank up in order to unlock them within each class, and you can see how deep this goes. And, you know, it, I'd love this for even just Black Ops 3 customs. You know, you have a mod, and it's more suitable for that if you could have a mod that would then apply sort of zombie realism onto every map that you played. So you load the mod, you play a custom map or one of the stock maps, and you could have this sort of progression class system uh, within Black Ops 3 custom zombies. But, you know, looking forward to World War II zombies, I'm hoping that a lot of these RPG elements are incorporated into that game because it's, you know, it's wild. It's, it's, it's great. It's crazy. It's crazy, really, isn't it? I, I love it. I love it. I just... You know, there, you can only do so much on these stock maps, okay? You know, you can do the Easter egg a bazillion number of times with a bazillion number of different guns. Um, you know, you can do high rounds, you can do starting room only, you can do no jug, no power. But it would be nice to play not only for doing that stuff, but also for upgrading your character, for upgrading each of the classes, you know, unlocking and upgrading weapons, etc., it just adds a ton more replayability in my mind, and that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the class system in World War II Zombies and progression and abilities and unlocks? I think it's great. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say, so leave a comment. Appreciate that, and uh, we'll be back with more next time on NGT Zombies. I'm Spider, and I'm out.